everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well so today's video is my first like sit down and chatty video since i've started back up my youtube channel so it feels very weird like just talking to a camera but yeah i've got my cup of tea ready um and in today's video if you can't really tell by the title um i'm going to do like a little university q a for like freshers or if you're going back to university because admittedly this is like a very weird time to be going back to university i think for like everyone regardless of what year you're in like if you're a fresher it's probably really weird to be starting university um and me personally i'm fourth year so i'm going into my final year of university but again it's like just as weird um as it probably is for everyone needless to say why <laughs> But yeah, so for today's video, I thought I'd do like a little Q&A of like my experience at university and I thought I would answer some questions that I was asked over on Instagram. If you don't follow me, I will leave my name on the screen somewhere now. Um, and yeah, without further ado, we're going to get straight on into the video. Like I say, this is my first like chatty video back since starting my channel. So if I seem a bit all over the place or like I can't talk or if I talk really fast, that'll be why. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight on in. Also, I feel like I should really quickly point out I'm ginger now in case you couldn't already tell. Um, this happened last week and I'm fully obsessed. I have no idea how like dark or light the camera's making it look, but it's like the perfect shade of ginger. Like it's washed out a little bit now, so it's like a really nice light gingery colour. Um, and I love it. But yeah, I thought I'd address that because I've been blonde in all of my videos ever since I had my channel. So yeah. Um, enough of me rambling, let's get started with the questions. So I've made like a list on my phone of like the most common questions. So I asked out on Instagram for some questions and I thought I would like pick out the most popular ones. Um, that you guys asked and yeah let's get started <laughs> so the first one that a lot of people asked because i haven't really addressed it too much is what university do you go to um, and what do you study so like i mentioned before i am going into my fourth year um i did a placement year last year so my course is like technically meant to be three but i'm doing four um but i study textile design um specifically knitwear design like i say i'm in my fourth year and i go to de montfort university in leicester um so for anyone that doesn't know i'm based in brighton leicester is about three hours away from me i always say this i don't know what possessed me to go so far away but i do love it up there it's a great city and um, it's also a really great university yeah, that is what i study i absolutely love it and i can't believe that i'm in my final year now like these past four years have gone so quickly and I keep getting like memories come up on my timeline like oh this time three years ago like you're moving out for the first time which just seems crazy and I'm about to do it for the last time which is terrifying. Another very common question is what is Freshers Week like and this is a really hard one to answer because Freshers Week this year is going to be so different to like any other Freshers Week before um I don't need to tell you why, do you know what I mean? Like we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, but Freshers Week, again, is like different for everyone. Everyone has such a different experience and it totally depends on the university, to be honest with you, like what they offer um, throughout it. So personally for me, Freshers Week has always been two weeks at DMU. They have like a week of like nights out and then a week of more like daytime activities, like open air cinemas, um, days out and things like that. Um, I did Freshers in my first and second year. I obviously wouldn't be doing it this year because I don't really feel the need to um, and plus it's all online this year. The first two times I did Freshers Week they were great, I loved it, I met so many um, friends, so many people, I had a great time, Leicester is a great night out um, and I'm definitely going to miss that this year um, but this year it's all online and from what I've seen like personally from quite a lot of universities is that they've really adapted well in the sense that like they've dealt with like, they've dealt with Freshers Week in the best way they can um, and I think us as students we just have to make the most out of it like there's nothing that we can do about it there's literally nothing that they can do about it but if you make the most out of it then you'll get the best experience um yeah it's kind of what you make of it if you make the effort to go to these things and you'll make loads of friends and you'll enjoy it but then again like freshers isn't for everyone before going to freshers i wasn't and i still am like i don't go out all the time um so i was like a bit skeptical of freshers like was i going to enjoy it but i did loved it and i wish i could do it again um, the next question is tips on settling in and that ties in quite nicely with the next one like after that which was tips on dealing with homesickness so I have a lot of experience with homesickness because I I got very homesick in my first year in particular not so much in my second year but definitely my first year um, like I really really struggled uh, the tips that I would say for both settling in and like dealing with homesickness is keep yourself busy like Obviously university is going to keep you busy anyway, but on your like free periods or your free days or on your weekends, like make sure you keep your mind busy because that was where I went wrong. Like I didn't have a job up in Leicester because I didn't really need one. Like I worked all summer back home. I had enough savings, so I didn't need to. And I think if I had a job, I probably would have been a bit more occupied on the weekends and not felt so homesick. Um, 
but it's not just the weekends and um, so like in the week and stuff like make sure you keep busy I would highly recommend societies for like again settling in and homesickness because one you meet some great friends and two it keeps you so busy that you don't even have time to think about being away um, and it really does take your mind off it so I think that'll probably be my number one tip is to like keep busy and not think about it too much which I know is easier said than done because take it from someone who is in that position where I was homesick a lot and I like just sat in a you know ball of my own pity basically and didn't really do a lot about it but obviously I know for like this year as I'm moving so far away just to keep busy do stuff you enjoy like if you've got hobbies don't stop them so like YouTube for me um and my Instagram and I also a bit of an old lady I like to crochet and knit so I have a lot of stuff to keep me busy this year um, and it's just important to remember that even if I am homesick, like, we have FaceTime, I can just jump on a train as well, like, I know it's a bit of a long train journey for me, but it might not be for everyone else, um, and your family are always going to be there, like, they're never going to go anywhere, or your friends or whatever, so just remember that there are people around you as well, um, I think that's a big thing, is don't feel like you're the only one feeling like that, like, talk to people, talk to your flatmates, um, especially if you're a fresher, like, I can, like, I can assure you, you won't be the only one that is homesick like at all I bet some of your flatmates are as well so just talk to them um and yeah go out for a coffee like you know keep busy and talk to people about how you're feeling because honestly if I did that in first year I would have been fine like I'm just one of those people that likes to bottle it up and like then it all explodes and I get really sick <laughs> um but yeah um, but yeah my top tips are just to keep busy keep your mind off things focus on university and like I say friends and family always gonna be there so you know text them drop them a call I'm sure they'd love to hear from you if you are feeling homesick um, so another really common question was how to deal with a long distance relationship. But I have been with my boyfriend for like a year and a half now, but we actually met literally like, like three weeks into my university experience. He's from back home, so back in Britain, um, and he came up to like meet one of his friends or whatever in Freshers and that's how we met. Anyway, that's a different story. Um, but yeah, so I've got quite a bit of experience with dealing with the long distance relationship. Um, Although I have had a year out of it where I've been back home, so I don't really know how I'm going to cope when I go back up at the weekend. Um, but we'll see. Long distance relationships are hard, like there's no two ways about it. You will struggle, you will miss them, that goes without saying. Um, but I think if you're both like, I think if you both know it's going to happen, like you've had it planned for a long time, that makes it easier. Like if it isn't just a sudden thing. Um, and also if you're both willing to make it work, then it will work. Um, Obviously, I would say, like, you can travel home whenever, or they can travel up, but with the restrictions in place, like, I don't know how much I'm going to get to see my boyfriend, how often he's going to come up, um, but I think if you're both willing to work it out and make it work, then it will work, um, that's a, like, yeah, so that's a really big thing, um, and also FaceTime, like, I FaceTime my boyfriend, a little bit cringy, pretty much every night when I'm at university, um, just to like catch up, see how his day's been. I really recommend FaceTime. Um, and remember it's not forever. Like if you've got a planned date for coming home, which I do, like I always plan like a month where I'll come, like a weekend of a month that I'll come home and we'll organise something. So it's always something to look forward to, like a day out or whatever, or you know, go on a little date night. Um, so if you can like plan something in advance, um, that will like keep you going and keep you excited to see each other. But I think the biggest thing is if you're both willing to make it work, you'll make it work. And you will miss them at the start, but you'll sort of get used to it. Um, and obviously they should have like your best interests at heart. And if moving away to university is what you've wanted, then they should support you in that. I think this year will probably be a bit easier for me because we've had experience. Um, like second year we were together and um, we went like weeks without seeing each other and it was fine and like we get really excited to see each other when there is like a time apart but yeah just if you both make an effort it will work I can promise you um most important things to pack um that's probably the worst question to ask me because I overpack like nobody's business um I remember my first year my mum has like a big car we're a family of five and mum has the big car and we struggled in my first year to get everything in um I'm a serial overpacker basically and most of it is my clothes because I own an embarrassing amount of clothes um but I think the most important things to take it's really hard actually tea bags are very important um clothes obviously um and I would always say like take something that reminds you of home like whether it's 
every university has different rules on like candles and things um so like a candle that reminds you of home or it's like something that makes you feel at home and pictures like print off loads of pictures beforehand every year before i move out i print off like a fresh set of polaroids to like stick up in my room and i have that proper like pinteresty vibe going on but that really makes me feel at home oh so much i could say but just don't be like me and end up packing your whole wardrobe and all of your millions of pairs of shoes because let me tell you you will not need them all and especially in the current climate like i'm literally going to be living in joggers and trainers because all of my lectures are online so for this year make sure you got your comfies lots of tea and lots of pictures that is what i would say are the most important things um how often did you visit home this is quite a good question because like i say in my first year i got really homesick um and in my first year i actually nearly dropped out so glad i didn't um, but yeah, first year I visited home a lot and I came home for a big chunk of time in March and just worked from home because I was so homesick and like mentally like not all there at the time. I don't know how else to put it. Um, so yeah, first year I came home quite a lot. Second year I didn't come home as much but I still came home like a fair bit. I would say like probably like one weekend a month which I think is quite good. Um, obviously if you live closer to home then go home whenever like don't feel bad about going home um, I think a lot of us are conditioned to think that oh you're at university you must stay there for like you know the whole time and not come home which just so isn't the way if you want to come home for a weekend come home for a weekend um, but second year I would say like once a month and then obviously going into my final year now I'm not entirely sure how often I'll come back because with the restrictions in place I don't really like the idea of getting a train and that's normally my way of getting back um, Although my dad has said that he'll come and pick me up, which is really nice of him. So I'm sure that I'll be making use of that offer. Um, but yeah, I used to come home like once a month, which I think was good. Obviously in first year, it was more than that. Um, but what I would say is don't go home too much. Because that is where I went wrong Like in first year. I went home too much and then got myself into, oh, I really miss home. Like, and it sort of, And it sort of made me feel like more homesick in a way than if I just stayed there and stuck it out, gone out with my friends and kept myself busy. Yeah, I, and yeah, I think that would be my one piece of like advice for the whole of this video is keep yourself busy and don't come home all the time. And really, and really like relish the experience of being there because I didn't do that first year, like hold my hands up, I just didn't. Second year I sort of did. Um, and now I've had a year out and I've sort of found my confidence and stuff like that. I'm sure third year will be different. But yeah, just make the most of it because it'll go so quickly. Um, and I can't believe that I'm in my fourth year already. So take it from someone that's done it and done it a few times. Like, make the most of it. Don't come home all the time, but don't feel bad about do coming home for like a weekend or whatever. Um, and make the most of it. Join societies. Keep yourself busy. Remember your hobbies. Like, yeah, I think that they're the most important things. And just sort of stay true to yourself and remember why you're there. Like, that degree is at the end of it. You know what you're getting. <laughs> Next question is... Uh, is uni worth it slash is it all it's cracked up to be again this is very dependent on the university you go to and also very dependent on what you make of your experience so I would say so I would say it's very dependent on how you, you it's really hard to like explain but basically you make your uni experience you decide how good or how bad it is um, or how much you enjoy or how much you don't enjoy it. I'd say uni is 100% worth it if it's something that you always wanted to do. If it's in the back of your mind that you're a bit unsure, I would say wait, because otherwise you won't necessarily enjoy it. Like wait until you're completely certain. Um, but I would say it's definitely worth it. If it's something that you've always wanted to do, it's totally worth it. Um, and, it and in some aspects, it is all it's cracked up to be. But again, that's only if you you know, you make use of the experiences that they offer, you use of the extracurricular activities, you um, you join societies, you go out, you like fully embrace everything that they offer you and that's what makes it good. Like if you just sit about and don't take advantage of all the resources they have and all of the societies they have to offer, it isn't necessarily going to be the full experience because as much as your degree is what you're there to get, university is a big social thing as well like the social side of things is massive um, and from someone who's a massive introvert like I'm not a massive social person for my next for final year I will 100% be taking advantage of the socials and things like that that's something that I never really did before because I didn't have the confidence and I wish I could tell my younger self to just like go for it um because I really wish I had if you're watching this and you're a fresher join societies and make use of all of the resources that the university has to offer because that's what make that's what will make your experience 
even better like obviously you're left the degree but make use of all of the extracurricular stuff as well because the two are kind of like both really big parts of uni um and then the last question i'm going to answer someone has just said halls or house and i really wanted to answer this one because i have always lived in halls which is rare um a lot of people do halls and then a house with their friends um for the next two years or however long their courses but i have done halls for year one year two obviously had a year out and then year three um and i am glad i did that like i'm so glad i did halls all the way through because personally it's what worked for me so for all three years i was at the same halls like the same halls of residence um and i just knew that living in a house wasn't necessarily for me and also i had heard so many horror stories of like of like things going wrong in houses and obviously when you're at university owned halls the university owns them so you know what you're paying for you know that they're going to sort out anything that they throw at you because they don't want any bad press and anything like that um however if you're getting a house it's on your back to sort it out it's on your back if anything goes wrong i've had horror stories of like people not getting their deposits back people being overcharged and obviously because you're a university student some letting agents can take advantage of that um and i just didn't like that idea like i would much rather be more secure if that makes sense in my in, in like where i was living um, and the contract that i was tied into so yeah i would really recommend halls i don't have a bad word to say about them um especially where i was they were really well run and obviously you've got to remember like if you're living in halls you've got everything on site as well like i also felt more secure in halls because they're like gated and obviously i live in a city um, and i feel like in a house i wouldn't feel as safe um, and my halls are like completely gated no one can get in unless you get through the gates um so yeah i'm really glad i went with halls but again totally your choice but just make sure if you do get a house you like read the contract through with a fine tooth comb because there will be loopholes in it no doubt and you just don't want to be dealing with that when you're like getting ready to go back to uni and all of a sudden you've signed a contract that you actually didn't read properly um, and you're tied into something that you weren't entirely sure on or didn't entirely want so yeah so that concludes my video i feel like i've spoken a lot and not very many questions i could go on and on and on and on and on about university um, and answering questions so i might do another one of these like just after freshers maybe at the moment it's a tuesday and i move out on saturday back to uni so there will be lots more of uni related videos coming your way which is exciting and like i say i'll probably film another q a um at some point um so make sure you're following me on instagram because i tend to ask for questions over on there um and like a little question box so yeah hope you have enjoyed this video like i said i feel like i've just word vomited at the camera the whole time um but yeah hope you have enjoyed it if you have please give it a big like um and subscribe and all of that fun stuff and i will see you all in my next video when i'm in my new flat